Your RAM, it kind of sucks, especially your laptop's RAM, because you have to choose between having slim but speedy soldered RAM that gives up upgradability, or if you're someone who wants to maybe expand in the future, you have to use these thick and slow SODIMM slots that can't run RAM nearly as fast as your desktop computer could. What are you gonna do? Well, we're gonna switch to CAM, baby. Now, what the heck is CAM 2? Well, it's a new form factor for RAM that solves both of those problems and will allow your laptop to run at RAM speeds as fast or faster than your desktop's RAM. And it does it in a low profile form. So why am I talking about this when I'm in front of a bunch of desktop computers? Well, you see, Gigabyte is bringing CAM to their motherboards right here is 48 gigabytes of RAM running at 8,000 mega transfers per second at CL40 speeds. So why is CAM so much faster? Well, it's not to do with the memory chips specifically. It almost all comes down to the form factor. I won't go into a ton of detail on this. If you want to learn more, go check out our CAM2 video on LTT. But here's a very surface level overview. Because of how far data has to travel from your CPU to your RAM, it has to go up and then down and all the way even as far up to here. It also means that more of these traces have to be very specific lengths to make sure that the signals are arriving at the exact same time. The smaller the landing zone, the easier it is to make sure that all of those traces are connected. Another failure comes in the form of these pins. Listen, man, DDR has been the very similar for a very long time, and these slots are coming on well over 20 years old at this point. There's probably a better way to do it, and that's what Cam hopes to do. Now, some of you might be looking at this and being like, hey, didn't they just take this part and turn it like this? Yes. They did. The space savings that CAM provides typically come in the form of vertical space, which is what makes it so important for laptops. If you want a thin, powerful laptop, this allows you to get it. But also something to consider is how much easier it's going to be to provide cooling to your CPU, especially with low profile coolers. And even tower coolers will benefit from it because you won't have to have your fans up like an extra one or two centimeters to accommodate your RGB RAM. And the RAM itself will be easier to cool. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take a look at how this actually connects to the motherboard. And we'll do that after this word from our sponsor. Thanks to Saley for sponsoring our 2025 Computex coverage. Traveling around the world and covering cool events like this requires a lot of planning. And that includes making sure that we can stay in touch as a team. And boy, do we suck at that. Thankfully, with Saley's affordable eSIM plans, you can get instant coverage in over 200 destinations. That means that you'll be connected as soon as you land. There's no more waiting in line to buy a physical SIM or connecting to public Wi-Fi just to call a ride. So download the Saley app before your next trip and use Short Circuit for 15% off of their eSIM plans. And that is how CAM connects. It might look a little familiar because it's the same mechanism that our CPUs connect to in a LAN grid array. You have a connector with an array of pins. You screw down your module onto that and that compresses them to ensure that they have a really, really strong and stable contact. This does wonders for signal integrity. There's a reason we use it on CPUs. And that signal integrity has so many benefits. We already talked about speed, but it also has up to 80% more power efficiency. I can't speak about that specifically for this model, but that is with CAM in general. Now, I know that you nerds at home are drooling all over this. Sadly, we're not gonna be able to get it yet. Even just getting CAM modules is very difficult. They're not really for sale, and they're also very expensive. They're in the so new that it's too expensive to make and therefore too expensive to buy, that kind of chicken and egg scenario that a lot of new technology gets stuck in for a little while. And Gigabyte won't be releasing a compatible motherboard anytime soon because they have to wait for market viability as well. But it's really cool that they have a working prototype. Oh yeah, did I mention that? This system's running right now using the CAM memory and it looks pretty good. Now let's talk about something that you actually will be able to get pretty soon. This is the Aorus 8670E Master X3D ICE, and it's not just another motherboard. One, it's ATX, but seems to pack as many features as you'd find on a much larger motherboard, including this curiously placed HDMI port on the front. The idea is that if you have like a third party in case display, you don't have to route an HDMI cable out through the back of your PC and into the back of your motherboard. You can put it right here for a much cleaner and easier run. Also, if you have a test bench, you might find this a little bit easier to access than the back of the board. And that's just the start. Tons and tons of IO all over the board, super densely packed in there. You might not care, but I care. It's got two of these easy release PCIe slot locks. But the coolest part is their OC chip with turbo mode chip that's included with this. What does it do? It allows the motherboard to overclock your chip for you. But how does it work? Well, it uses AI to analyze your CPU's performance and adjusts the clock speeds and voltages to bring out apparently 
up to 15% more performance. They say in their testing it's 10 to 15% more. That is an absolute game changer. It's hard to say if that's going to be true across the board or if you're gonna be somebody who needs to have like a golden CPU or if that's only in specific games. They said that they tested it in Cyberpunk as well as a couple of other games, but they said a couple of other games. If you're a gaming enthusiast who wants absolutely everything, including installed Wi-Fi drivers, they're already on there. But we won't know until it releases in September. They haven't given a price point or anything. I'm assuming because it's part of their master lineup, it will be in that master price point range, which is um, not cheap. And neither am I, which is why I'm giving you this free tip. You can watch more short circuits from Computex. Just click the links that are on the screen right now. Do it. I love you.